So this is a follow-up video to the Big Pack Welder 140 review that I posted previously. This, this follow-up video will go directly after. And thanks to someone in the comments, uh, Jeff Huberner, hopefully I pronounced your last name right. Um, he mentioned that I forgot to reverse the polarity of the leads. And that uh, I totally slipped my mind on that. I read it in the manual. Uh, I remembered this but I forgot to do it. So I'm just gonna switch it and that should fix the, the issue with the, uh, the MIG not working quite as smooth as the flux core. So I'm just gonna switch this, switch this now. All right, that should do it. Okay, I did some welds after changing the polarity. I can say with 100% confidence, huge difference it made. Um, this was yesterday with the incorrect polarity on the mid configuration. Again here, all this bubbliness, not great penetration. Um, then I switched the polarity and I get decent consistency in my weld. I got a little, some Swiss cheese going on here. But that's because of me and also the base metal's dirty, so I'm not getting the best looking bead, but I am getting a more consistent looking bead. So at least it's consistently looking bad, but it's not like it was in the incorrect polarity. And again, this was with the incorrect polarity. But then, this one here is looking a lot better. Same with this one here. I get decent penetration, the bead is looking even. Um, however, um, I wasn't happy with that and it's probably because the base metal was dirty. I was a little lazy. I should have cleaned the base metal. Once I cleaned the base metal, this guy here, really, really great. Nice and nice even. It's shiny. It looks good. Uh, that's the other thing I really like about MIG. Uh, there's no slag to chip off, which is awesome. You just got a wire brush and it looks nice, bright and shiny. But anyways, this one is way better. Good penetration and even looking bead. Not the smoothest looking bead because that, that's my welding skills, but at least it looks decent and it's closer to the nice weld that I had yesterday with the flux core. So let me see if I can just focus in on that. Right, so this is on the flux core on the right. That's the MIG on the, on the left. So. So this machine works really well in both configurations, I have to say. Quite pleased with it. Um, so this video was just to clarify my little mess up with the polarity. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't seen the review video, I'll link it here. And thanks for watching, appreciate uh, the comments, and alright, until next time.